I know we've discussed John ja Morant with the Shannon Sharp Staples Center Lakers Grizzlies fiasco and Shannon's comments calling Morant a fake tough guy. I'm one of the hood members. But Morant 23 has some serious accusations being levied against him that warrants attention. We first learned of these allegations in January when a lawsuit on behalf of a teenager was filed against Morant by the kid's parents. The report would state deputies with the sheriff's office responded to the family's home around 9.15 a.m. on July 26 when the mother of a teen said her son had been assaulted by Morant earlier in the day during a pickup basketball game. The mother told deputies her son came home with a large knot on his head and said Morant had jumped him. The teen told deputies Ja punched him in the head and face. He said he was then knocked to the ground when Morant continued to hit him with a closed fist. He then said a second man at the game began to assault him. Today, more with Moran. According to a Memphis Police Department incident report, officers responded to a simple assault call at the Cordova Mall around noon on July 22, 2022. An unnamed woman was involved in a disturbance inside the finish line store along with a group of people. She called her son to the mall, police said. The woman and a group of 9 to 10 people, including Ja, were asked to leave the property by a security guard. That's when an unknown person in the group allegedly pushed a guard in the head, and the two took an aggressive fight stance. At that point, Moran said, quote, let me find out what time he gets off, the report stated. The guard filed a police report because he felt threatened by the alleged comment and the physical contact. The group left. No injuries were reported. That's when, just four days later, Moran was alleged to have punched the teen during the pickup game at Jaw's house. The teen told detectives from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office that after the fight, Morant went into his house and reemerged with a gun visible in the waistband of his pants and his hand on the weapon, according to police interviews obtained by the Post, which had not previously been reported. In an interview with police, Morant said he acted in self-defense. I swung first, he told detectives, but he believed the boy had been the aggressor because he threw a ball at Morant's head and then stepped toward him, pulling his pants up. Quote, the ball was to me the first hit. What's noteworthy is during the interview, detectives mentioned the boy's allegation that Morant flashed a gun, but didn't ask Ja whether he did it. So that is kind of big. The teen told police Morant then put his chin on the boy's shoulder and asked his friend, do I do it to him? The friend responded, yeah, do it. Morant then punched the boy in the jaw, the boy told police. And without warning, the friend struck him on the other side. Quote, I fell to the ground trying to cover my face so I wouldn't get hit in the face, the boy told police. I got started getting hit, punched in my head, everything else. The boy said he got hit 12 to 13 times, with the friend striking him some four to five times. That's when Morant went into his house and returned with the firearm in his waistband with his hand on the weapon, alleges media reports. The boy told detectives Jaws' dad, T, yelled at him, telling him to go back in the house. Morant told police that as the boy left, he shouted, I'm going to come back and light this place up like fireworks. Weeks after the incident, according to records obtained, by the Post, Morant filed a police report about the boy's comment saying the teen had threatened the family. The Post notes prosecutors reviewed the case but opted against filing charges. The NBA declined comment. Police investigated the allegations for weeks before they submitted the case to the DA's office on October 4th. Less than a month later, cops said the DA declined to prosecute, citing lack of evidence. The lawsuit, though, is ongoing. This all came after the athletic story of, after a dust-up with the Pacers, members of Morant's inner circle a allegedly pointed a laser, many believed to be a firearm, at members of Indiana when they were boarding the team bus. Many on staff felt threatened. The league's investigation of the allegation involving the Pacers did not corroborate that any individual threatened others with a weapon, per an NBA spokesperson. Of note, according to the police report, when detectives tried to interview the witnesses themselves, they either didn't show up or weren't available. Morant's attorneys claim it's a shakedown by the boy's mother, who they claim files many lawsuits hoping to cash in. Pack, a friend of Morant's who got into it with the Pacers, is the alleged friend who also struck the teen.